Hey everyone, um, my name is Ira, and I was thinking about making a video explaining, I guess, uh, how I got here. Uh, now that I can make videos more often and make videos of better quality, although I still can't really edit them. Um, but yeah, okay, so I turned 22 this month. Um, my name is Ira. I am transgender, um, and I live in Arizona as of now, or like for now, I guess. Um, I grew up in Southern Orange County, California, and I grew up in a really heterosexist, cis-sexist family. Um, from the time that, from the time that I was like three years old, my parents had drilled in like two things into my head, and that was go to college and don't be gay. <laughs> um, I was like there were there are a million a million stories. Um, I got in trouble for walking too masculinely. I wasn't allowed to hang out in certain areas depending on the people who were there. They were too masculine or too feminine for their perceived gender, um, and and the the list goes on. I was just constantly, especially my mother, my just constantly told to beware of predatorial gay people, um, and how, how I was going to be a target of that, um, so then, when I was in junior high, which, for those of you who don't live in the United States, that can be from, like, ages 11 to 14, about, um, when I was in junior high, I got suspended because I wrote, like, eight composition books full of really <laughs> gay things. And by by gay things I mean like literally they were pretty gay. <laughs> um and uh and so I was just writing about my feelings, I was writing stories, I was making up things, I was in my head. And um so yeah, I got my mom read them all and and uh yeah. My mom <laughs> my mom read them all and um and then that combined with like self harm and depression and things like that. Um, I was going through a really tough time in my life, but um, landed me in therapy, uh, but Christian therapy and 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 purportedly anti gay therapy. Um, then when I was fifteen, I was I had gone to Christian school my whole life, and my parents are Messianic Jews, which is kind of like Christianity but with more holidays. Um, it's the easiest way to describe that. And so I was going to Christian school, because when have you ever heard of a Messianic Jewish school? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I had gotten a note from my friend who said that she thought it was cute. And I sent her, I wrote her a note back saying, hey, you know, like, you know, we're friends and we're cool, but I actually have a crush on someone else who is actually your best friend. And this is awkward. And um, I was late to class one day. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I dropped the note outside of my teacher's class. This teacher happens to be someone who went to the same temple as I did. I've known her and her family since I was like a, like 10 years old, I want to say. Uh, and yeah, so she read it and told my mom and told my mom that she was sorry, but that she was obligated to tell the school administration. So. And the school administration had um, interviewed my sister, my friends, which I didn't really have any, but uh, there were only like 300 kids in my high in my high school, so <laughs> people knew who I was. Um, and so, so they interviewed my classmates, my sister, my dad. They asked my dad if um, if he was like sexually abusive, which he's not. Um, and yeah, and so two days. Uh, I had I had a meeting with all of my teachers. My parents were there, so was the principal, and so was this one lady. I don't know why she was there, but um, yeah. And two days later, I got expelled for being gay. Um, well, and by expelled, I mean asked to leave. And if I had refused, then I would have been expelled. <laughs> uh, so then I started going to public school. I had my first big uh, gay relationship, which lasted about two years and was incredibly unhealthy. Um, and, you know, that that is what it is. But uh, when I was 17, 
or when I, when I was 16 or 17, I don't remember exactly when, I helped um, one of my classmates start the GSA at my high school, and I was I was um, secretary the first year and then president the next year after that. Uh, yeah, I was 16. Um, and when I was 17, my mom found out that my partner, who she thought I was just friends with, was gay. She found that out, um, and then like freaked out. I ran away. Uh, I ended up having to go back the next day um, because technically running away as a minor in California is technically illegal. Um, so the police had been called and stuff. Um, so then when I was 18, two days after my 18th birthday, I got kicked out for being gay. Um, the day that Christmas break started, my mom called this girl that I was dating because my phone bill was really high and this girl lived in Texas. and. So this girl told my mom to fuck off and that she should get over it, that her kid was gay. And so yeah, so I got kicked out of my house. And so I spent the second semester of my senior year in high school homeless. And I was couch surfing and such and so forth. Eight months later, I couldn't afford to survive anymore, so I repented um, to my parents and they let me back in. About six months after that, my mom got a piece of literature from a gay affirming church that I had gone to. Um, I was 19 at the time. Yeah, I was 19 at the time. And so I got, she called me while I was in the middle of my cultural anthropology class in college. And she kicked me out again. Um, so then I stayed with my friend and then I stayed with my other friend and I started couch surfing. And, um, so then, my friend and I moved out together, and I couldn't afford to survive anymore, and so I repented again, which I don't, I don't know what my mom is thinking, but like, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I repented again, and um, my uh, my mom let me back in, into into the house, and um, about six months after that, and this was the night before Thanksgiving in 2009, my girlfriend at the time, and I had gone on a date, and she was bringing me home, and we were in our car and making out because we're we're silly and we don't think about our locations. And my sister drove up behind us and um, yeah, we set off into the distance after I realized that it was her. And so then I called the house to like try and make up some lie to my mom. And my sister was the one who picked it up and told my told me that she was telling my mom. So I stayed at my girlfriend's house that night. And my mom called me and left me a voicemail saying that I was a whore, that I could sleep around with my poor girlfriend, that I was going to hell, that I was never allowed back again, regardless of repentance, and um, that, that, and that she loves me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, so then about a month after that, I came out as trans. Um, I had been, it, it's something that I had been thinking about since I was I want to say 17, but kept pushing to the back of my mind, because um, I just couldn't deal with that <laughs> being at my parents' house. Um, and then six, or I want to say like maybe about seven months later, be, including the time that I had to do research for testosterone and stuff, I started testosterone. Um, I've been on testosterone for almost a year and a half now. Uh, I started testosterone on June 17th. 2010. Um, my top surgery is scheduled for February 9th, 2012. And so if anyone had asked me two years ago, like, yeah, or do you think, like, when I had been disowned, like, where do you think you'll be in two, two years? I wouldn't have been able to fathom. Um, uh, a little over a year ago, I went to Hollywood Queer Youth Pride, or Hollywood Youth Pride, and I actually have a video about how excited I was. Um, and I met this couple there, and they offered me a place to stay after they found out that I was homeless and, and couch surfing. Um, because about nine months after I had been disowned, my partner broke up with me, and so I didn't have anywhere to go. Uh, but, uh, so yes, I moved here a little over a year ago. Uh, I still live here. Um, and I live with, you know, a married couple who's old enough to be my parents, so I often refer to them as my pseudo-parents. Um, and they plan on adopting me, so that's cool. 
and that makes me happy. Um, so now I refer to them as my adopted parents. Uh, and that's really awesome. Uh, I write a blog and have been writing a blog, and everything for my transition has been paid for by the people who watch my videos and who read my blog. My blog has <clears throat> gotten me a lot of opportunities, has paid for food when I don't have any, um, and, and so I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful to the people who have always been there for me. Um, and I, you know, I interned for trans bodies. I've done a lot of advocacy work now, thanks to all the help that I've gotten um, through the community, and I want to give it back. Uh, and I recently got, uh, <clears throat> I recently was reached out to by uh, by the Huffington Post, and they want me to write a blog about um, how mainstream trans education is lacking. Uh, and so I'm really excited about that. And so hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of me and and my activism in the future. But um, yeah, so anyways, this is really long. So thank you for watching and um, thank you for stopping by and I will see you all later.